Hi everyone, we are back with the 2020 quilt and today we are going to be uh, doing block 17 and we're going to be talking about strip piecing, so sewing long strips of fabric together to create your block. And we're going to be talking about two different ways to do it, either sewing two long strips together and then cutting them apart or uh, cutting all your short pieces to size and then sewing them together after you've cut them. So it really depends upon the fabric that you have to work with. So I'm going to be kind of working with two different blocks today. So this is my red and white block that the pattern is written for. And this pattern is calling for cutting one and a half inch strips and either working with a long 20 inch piece or we're cutting eight uh, one and a half by four and a half pieces because you're going to have two different colors. So you're going to need eight pieces of your dark and eight pieces of your light. If you end up going with a block that's working with four different colors, obviously you're going to need four pieces for each fabric, one for each block. If you're working with scraps out of your stash or because we're later into the blocks and the fabrics that you chose to work with you're just getting smaller and smaller pieces you may not be able to get that long 18 or 20 inch piece from each um, fabric so if you're going to be working with different fabrics you just need to make sure that you have enough fabric to get, if you're working with four colors, make sure you can get at least four pieces from each one. You need to have at least four and a half inches in length and be able to cut that one and a half inch high. So out of my, my two green pieces, I could the, it's barely four and a half long and then this was just a little over three inches so I get those four strips out of there. You know, this piece here, I would have, I would cut my one and a half and I can chop it into a couple four and a halves. This one, it would be kind of tight, but I'd be able to cut a one and a half and I might be able to get two of them here. Otherwise, I can get four of them going up this way. This very last one, I'm going to have to be really careful because it's going to be tight. So just make sure you can get enough pieces out of each fabric before you start. Once you have your pieces cut, if you're working with your pieces cut to size, you're then going to lay them out. And when you sew them together, if they're cut exactly to size, you want to make sure that when you're starting, you don't get these ends off a little bit because you don't have a whole lot of wiggle room to work with. So when you're putting them together, you need to make sure to match them up perfectly. And again, with this block, we want to make sure that we're really sewing that either exact quarter inch or a scant quarter inch. We don't want to be on the heavy side. If, you're, if you have enough fabric when you cut these, it may be to your benefit to cut them instead of at that four and a half. Maybe cut them at four and three quarters. That way, if you get off a little bit on these ends, you have some room to trim them up and you're still going to be at the four and a half when your block is done. So working with scraps or working with smaller pieces, you're going to need to cut your pieces individually. If you have enough fabric to be able to work with long strips, it, it makes it a little easier, a little faster, and probably a little more accurate. So if you have fat quarters to work with. So this was a fat quarter and I don't know if it's all on film here. And this was a fat quarter that I hadn't cut anything from yet. So going from my salvage, I could get a 20 inch piece, the length of this fabric. Okay, you're going to need at the very minimum 18 inches to be able to sew strips together. So this is my other fat quarter that I wanted to work with for this piece. But with some of the other blocks, I had already cut some of my length, but I still had my 18 inches in width here. So I could use both of these pieces, but I'm just going to have to be very, very careful because I don't have any extra to work with uh, with my white piece. 
So after I cut two pieces of my orange and two pieces of my white, because I'm going to be doing a block similar to this, so I'm going to need eight, eight sections, um, I sewed them together into a long strip. And I got them here. Okay, so after I cut my strips, you're just going to take and you're going to sew them into a strip set. So once I have this sewn and I have them pressed really well, now I can take this strip set and I can chop it up into my four and a half inch pieces. So it just makes it a little more accurate. Again, because my uh, white one here is barely at 18, I, I don't have any room. It would be nice if, if both of my strips were this long because then I could you know chop it off my ends and really come and have some extra to play with. But I don't have that option for this one. So I'm gonna put it and line it up right on a on one of my lines over here. I'm gonna trim my end off. And then I need to cut it my four and a half and um, I'm going to grab my square so I have a four and a half inch mark. I do like to work with the lines on my ruler versus the lines on my mat. So I switch between several different rulers throughout a project. I do that a lot. So I'm just going to cut my four and a halves. Again, sometimes when you cut, it'll wiggle a little bit. So I'm lining that four and a half here. But again, I'm also double checking with one of my long lines that I'm also on the line on the mat just to make keep everything square. And when I move it down, I'm going to keep things lined up. I might trim this little edge off just a little bit, just in case things get, you don't want them to get off. And for those of you who were watching uh, the Daily Dose the other day, you were watching Elaine talk about making sure that you're standing and that your arm is in line, that you're not trying to stand here and continually cut down a strip and not have your, your hand be in line with your ruler. So you're better off to move your strip or to adjust your feet so that you're always in line with your ruler. Right, I'm going to cut this last strip quickly. Just a little bit more. If you're working with that 18 inch edge of your fat quarter, you're hoping that maybe they gave you kind of a heavy fat quarter so you got a little bit of extra to work with for trimming. this back down so it's right in front of me and get that last one cut so you can tell with my white fabric I didn't have a whole lot to trim off that was about as much as I had a little bit there and a little bit there all right so once you have these pieces cut now I can sew two of them together and that's going to give me my four blocks all right, so I'm gonna to go to the sewing machine, get these sewn together, and then I'll be back to talk about our little corner that we need to angle off. All right, so here I have my four blocks sewn together, so I made sure that I kept my alternating colors. And I do wanna make sure that before I go any further, that I have a full four and a half inches from side to side going this way, the where my long seams are sewn together. I want to make sure that my seam allowance wasn't too big that when I put these blocks together, because I'm going to be alternating them like this, that this isn't longer than my, this was my four and a half cut, and I want to make sure that this is still going to be four and a half so that 
my length of my seamed pieces is equal to the length of my cut pieces. So just double check that to make sure that before you get to sewing your blocks together that you're not going to be struggling with a width that's too short for the length of your strips. So once I have these four sewn together, now we need to go on and we need to create our little diamond in the middle. Again, that's going to be by angling one of the corners of our block. Okay, we've done that many times. So we're going to be using a one and a half inch square this time. So I have four of them here and I've already got my line drawn on them. So these are a little bit bigger than the last time. You're still going to be dealing with kind of a small square, so you want to make sure you have that thinner thread. Um, you can maybe make your seam uh, length a little bit smaller if you like, uh, but we're going to be angling the corner off. You can do either corner. You could do the dark one or the light one. You just need to make sure that you do the same corner on all four blocks. It really doesn't matter which way you do it. As far as the fabric that I picked for this, you want to make sure that it's a fairly solid, um, darker fabric so that you really get the definition of this little diamond. With this group of fabrics, the choices I had with the actual group of fabrics for my dark blue would have been one of these two, but I just felt that there was too much movement going on. So by the time I got all these little triangles to touch, there would always be different colors and I think you could end up losing that sharp point. So I decided to just go on my stash. I found this more of a solid tone on tone blue, but it, it worked with the shade of blue that was with the fat quarters from this group. So I decided to go with this blue instead of one of the two prints. So again, once you get over to your sewing machine, you're going to take putting that square in your corner and it is going to extend past into um, the orange or the, the second color on this piece and that'll, when I sew my pieces together, that's going to be my quarter and seam allowance. So that'll get sewn, sewn off right there to, to make that sharp point. So I'm going to go, I'm going to put them on, I'm going to make sure that I start right at that corner, stitch on my line, and end right at my other corner. So again, I'm going to go do that, and I will be right back. Alright, so here we have our finished block for today, with our nice little dark center and our tight little points at our, at our diamond. And then this was the block from my red and white fabrics. This was the block that I had from my 12 fat quarters. And this was the block that I had made earlier out of my stash. So this one was just two different greens and two different blues with the red center. So again, you can do it either way. You can have it be a little more coordinated with just two fabrics or go the scrappy route and have four different fabrics. I hope you have fun and Make sure to practice hitting those points well. We'll see you next time. Bye.